Savage, and today I'm here to go fishing at Forest Park because number one, fishing is very fun. Number two, uh, after a very hard week at school, fishing is a good way just to relax and try and catch some fish and maybe dinner. I like fishing because I think it's fun and then like just bragging on your friends basically. I caught him on a net. My dad. With a worm, right? He feels so slimy. Yeah, I, I like fishing. I'm just trying to have fun and like, you know, catch fish so I can like win prizes. Well, it's really about the fun to me. I've caught millions of fish before, and the fun part about fishing is just that, like, you could just like keep on going. Young kids, a lot of them don't get into the outdoors anymore to fish, you know, and they stay home, and it, this is their fun time. And we have plenty of volunteers that are gonna help them if their lines get tangled up, and they have a chance to win a good prize, and if you get the longest tag trout, you can win a $50 gift card for Dick's Sporting Goods, and you know, it's awesome, you know? It's, and we try to get the youth back in the outdoor activities. Everything starts in the home, and if the parents can keep those kids under the wing, and they're gonna keep them out of trouble, and you're gonna have these memories forever. I remember when my dad went fishing. I remember my dad took me hunting. I remember my mother and father. And if they can, if we can instill onto them to keep the kids and the parents and keep the families tight, I think a lot of the problems in the world will go away. Well, he enjoys it. It's just uh, another activity we get to do together as a family. He's picked it up really well. He, he, the, the thrill of catching a fish and uh, just another thing that we continue. My dad used to take me, I take him, and we continue the tradition. Oh, we had a, we had a great time. Fishing fishing's awesome for kids, and it's a good, just a good way to get outside and, uh, and just uh, enjoy time with, with your family, and, and uh, that's what we're doing. When we're catching fish, having a good time. So we partner with a lot of different um, organizations, local, state organizations like the Elks Club here, um, and you know we get to provide a lot of fish to these organizations that put on these local fishing derbies in order to entice kids to get into, you know, more of the natural resources, more of the wildlife based activities. It was just an opportunity for police officers to mingle with kids in an event that everybody can do. Um, you know, it, it doesn't take a lot of skill or ability, so if you're a child, we can hook, hook you up and put your line in the water and you can enjoy it like anybody else. But it's a great thing for the community. The, the Elks Lodge joined in with us, and as you can see, there's, there's a lot of kids out here today, and along with fishing, they can interact with my C3 and my Metro police officers and uh, learn what we do and, and who we are, and, and that's the best way to bond with the community is doing events like this. Getting the kids out of the house obviously is the, is the biggest thing, but uh, it's, you know, it's just teaching them a new skill, something that they can use, and uh, something positive to do uh, outside. And this gives us an opportunity to interact with the community, interact with the younger children, you know, um, go over some fire safety information. We get a lot of small questions and answers in that area. It gives us an opportunity to, to answer, you know, their concerns. You know, so being out here today, you know, among the community is, is pretty important to us. Yeah, that's probably the most rewarding part of our jobs is to, you know, work with the youth and showing them how there's alternatives, there's things that they can do outside for fun, uh, stay productive, and, and just build some good memories with uh, with folks. It's 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 really rewarding. It's also a great way to, to keep kids active and families active um, off the screens, if I might be so bold to say, um, getting them outside and connected to nature. I work for a natural resource agency and um, we need the next generation of land stewards to um, continue our legacy that we're working for right now of clean environments, um, clean ecosystems, healthy air, healthy water, get them connected to their environment, get them caring about the health of their environment, then we've been doing our job. We're out here at the Fishing Derby Forest Park educating the community about the water, our drinking water, and just get out having fun and interacting with the community. I'm a resident of Springfield and I recently started a nonprofit here in Springfield. It's called Fishing Friends. We teach youth about fishing so that they can develop relationships, build character, 
connect with nature, and learn a new life skill. We take kids fishing at local bodies of water, things like the Connecticut River, Bass Pond, the Chicopee River, Five Mile Pond. We take them all over the place. We want to give them the opportunity to see how unique each body of water is and what makes our aquatic biology that special. Of course, you're not going to catch one as soon as you cast it in the water. It's really about having the patience to sit there, connect with the people around you, connect with the nature around you, and then if you're lucky, you'll catch one.